What's up guys, Kyra Carl here, and in this video, we're going to be taking a look at neck spasms, specifically those muscles in the neck and in the tops of the shoulders that when they go into spasm, they can create headaches and tension and eventually turn into muscular knots. Now we're gonna treat this problem with a super simple three-step self-massage. Let's do it. So upper back and neck tension is caused by a combination of two factors. One, you have the stress that you have in your life, and two, we have modern lifestyle. So that forward head position, that forward shoulder position that we are chronically in when we're using our devices, our tablets, our computers, when we drive, when we sit and watch TV. And it is this combination that will lead to muscular spasms, that can turn into muscular knots, that create tension and headaches and fatigue that can affect all aspects of your life. So the goal in this video is to catch that muscle while it's in spasm before it becomes chronic enough to become a muscular knot. And we're gonna catch it in spasm by self-massaging. And we're gonna do this in three super simple steps. So the first group of muscles that we're going to be looking at is going to be what we call the suboccipital muscles. Now they are the muscles that sit in the base of the skull and they're essentially a stabilizer. They do help turn and tilt the head as well, but they are essentially a stabilizer that we overstrain in our modern lifestyle. Every time we look down for too long, every time we're focused too much on something like driving or a computer, these muscles are the ones that initially take the strain. And when they become stressed, they spasm up before becoming knotted and they can create tension like headaches that can radiate over the head and into the sides of the temples. So the first thing that we're gonna do is take a look at these suboccipital muscles. Now we can create hooks with our fingers or we can use our thumbs, but we're going to get deep into the muscle at the base of the skull. Now what I'd like to do is just massage in a circular motion and find that super tender area that is just below the skull bone. Now you're gonna massage this for around five to 10 seconds. Now, once you've done that, drop your head and your chin towards your chest, relocate that tender spot, and then just bring your head back up and keep that pressure where your thumb or fingers are. Now, just hold that for 10 to 20 seconds, maybe up to 30 seconds if you don't feel it releasing before then. And then you can re-massage before making sure you can move your head nice and freely as that muscle relaxes. So the next muscle that we're going to look at is the SCM or sternocleidomastoid. Now this muscle is a large muscle. It connects from the base of the skull just behind the ear all the way down. It's a very powerful muscle and is actually used to control the rotation and turning of the head. Now, if you've been struggling or having issues with turning the head, maybe looking over your shoulder or as you drive, looking left and right, now this muscle could be going to spasm. And that's why we're going to address that now. Now, when it comes to massaging the SCM muscle, we're going to first locate the area of tension and we can just massage this for five to 10 seconds just as we warm it up. Now, the next step that I'd like you to do is you're going to turn the head away. And this should intensify the tension that you feel under your fingers as you're massaging it. To take this to the third and final level, what we can actually do to intensify this massage even more is allow the head to come towards the uh, armpit of the opposite shoulder and carry on that mass massage. Now, you're gonna keep doing this for up to 30 seconds. The muscle should relax relatively quickly. If it doesn't, carry on that massage until it does relax. You should immediately feel relief once you've finished doing the massage. In this third massage, we're going to be taking a look at the muscle that is located at the top of the shoulders and goes into the neck. Now, before we do that, if you haven't already done so, hit that like button, let me know that this content is valuable to you and I will keep making it for you. 
So this third muscle that we're going to be looking at is the trapezius muscle. Now that is the muscle that you can see when you look in the mirror either side of your neck. Now this muscle takes on an awful lot of load, especially through our chronically bad posture that most of us suffer from because of the modern lifestyle. So as that head drops forward by as little as every two centimeters, the pressure on that muscle and the joints towards the base of the neck can actually double with every two centimeters. And as this tension builds, the muscle that connects up into the base of the skull is actually gonna create tension that can lead to even more tension type headaches, problems and fatigue for you. So let's take a look at how to fix it. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna take fingers again, we're gonna find that tender spot in the trapezius muscle, and we're going to just warm the muscle up by massaging for around five to 10 seconds. If it's already tight and tender, do this for a little bit longer. Now, to intensify this slightly more, what we're going to do is we're going to bring the ear towards the side that you're massaging. And again, this should intensify that feeling. But if it's still not hitting the spot, what we can do is actually intensify it by going one step further, and that's by massaging as we take the ear on the opposite side towards the opposite shoulder. Carry on doing that deep massage, really get in there and dig in. This muscle is a big, strong muscle and it could take a little bit more of a self-massage than some of the smaller muscles that we've already worked on in this video. Now, if these upper back and neck muscles are too tight for you to self-massage, you might want to stretch them out first. Now, to do that, you can check out my super simple three-step Tex Neck Stretching Guide, which you can see right here. Alternatively, you might want to check out my 30 second daily cervical stretching and mobilization routine. You can check that out right there. And if you haven't already done so, hit that subscribe button, click the bell icon if that's something you like to do, and like the video so I know to create more content like this.